Hello, Mr. Galloway here, and today we are traveling back in time to ancient Japan to talk about one of the oldest forms of art done on paper, origami. The word origami means folding paper, and that's basically what it's. When you're making an origami sculpture, you take a single piece of paper, no cutting allowed, no gluing allowed, and you fold it into something new. There are endless forms of origami. You could make animals, plants, flowers, people, castles, all kinds of things. And the really exciting, fun part about it is you can even make up your own. Today we're going to be making some origami together. We're going to fold a fish and a fox, both of which are very important creatures in Japanese mythology. All right, guys, who is ready to make some origami? We are going to actually just start with two pretty simple projects. Um, we're going to dip our toes in and do some easy ones. But if you enjoy this, I really recommend going on YouTube and looking up some uh, origami tutorials. There are a lot of really cool things. Some of them are a little harder like this, but there are some pretty easy projects you could do too. My daughter actually made this one and this little helmet she made, which is kind of neat. Um, she made this one by herself, which is really cool, and glued a little button in the middle. <laughs> I thought that was funny. And this one here is a um, design I actually came up with. I was just messing around and made that. So there's lots of really cool ones you can try out on your own as well. Now to make your own origami, we need a piece of paper. Origami paper is square. Most of the time you're going to find a really cool paper that's got a nice pattern on one side and it's blank on the other one, like this Tiger King here. Um, or you can see there's lots of this one, I accidentally ripped, but there's lots of really pretty origami paper. You probably do not have fancy origami paper at home. I only have this because my daughter is obsessed with origami. But if you don't have it, I'm going to show you how you can take a regular piece of paper and make it a square origami piece of paper. If you have paper, you're good to go. If you have construction paper, that might be even better because it's colored and it'll save you some time. If you want to try to decorate your paper with some patterns, you could think about what you're making and decorate it. One of the first ones we're going to make is a fish, so you could make little scale patterns all over your paper to get it ready if you wanted to. I'm just going to use this purple paper like it is now. Now to prepare our paper and make it a square, what you want to do is take one corner of your paper and we're going to fold it up so that this line and this line are parallel and touching each other. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to run it up to the top. See I'm curling that corner up and I'm running it to the top so that they are exactly the same line. I want to perfectly line those up. You see what I did? You want to pay extra close attention to this corner here and try to get it as straight as you can. So once they are perfectly aligned, you can kind of pinch that corner and hold your paper here with one hand. I like to take my other hand and just run it down to pop that corner. And then you slide both sides and it should be lined up perfectly with the top. See what I mean? All I did, I folded that corner up like that. Once you've folded it up like that, you can get some scissors and very carefully try to cut your paper right along that line. You're trimming off this little rectangle here. Mr. Galloway really needs a head camera. <laughs> So now I've trimmed off that long skinny piece and I just have my triangle. When I unfold it, now I have a great square piece of paper that's ready for origami. Now do not throw out this little rectangle because look, you can actually use it to make mini origami. Little origami is much harder, but you can use it. Watch this. I'll take this corner, I'll fold it up, line those sides up perfectly just like before. 
I can cut that out. And look, I have a mini square I can use. I can do that again. You can do this probably three times and have a bunch of little squares using that. So don't throw that away, you can still use it. All right, now that we have our square paper, we're ready for our first model, the fish. To make my fish, I'm gonna prepare my paper by folding it in pretty much every direction I can. I've already got this one fold from when I made my square, so I'm gonna get that really good by taking my fingernail and running it down the fold that way, okay? Then I'm gonna unfold it, I'm gonna turn it. So now my fold line is right up and down the middle, and I want to fold it like a triangle again, where I'm going to touch these two little points perfectly. And I'm going to fold it that direction. See how I took it, folded it up, lined up those two little points, held my finger here, slid that one down. Now I have another triangle. If I unfold it, I have an X on my paper. See what I mean? All right. Now I'm going to fold it in half this way. I'm going to take the bottom, fold it up, line up those corners perfectly. You want every fold to be as precise as you can make it. So I want to get those corners perfect. I'll slide my finger down, take my finger, run it for a really good fold, unfold it. Okay, you can look, I have an X and I have a line going through it. I now want a line going up and down that way. So I'm going to turn the paper. So I have an X and a line going up and down, and I'm going to fold this up like so. Get my corners lined up perfectly, hold the paper, mash, mash, slide it, run my fingernail. When I open it up, I should have an X and a plus touching each other. See what I mean? I have a line, a line, a line, a line. Now my paper is ready to make my fish. Now, what we're going to do next is a little weird, but you can do it. I like to make sure my folds are nice and tight both directions. So I'm just going to real quickly make sure it folds both ways. It's going to make this next step a lot easier. So I'm just kind of letting it go both directions. This way and this way. Sometimes you have to work it a little to get it to go, but you can do it. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take our paper, okay? We're going to take our paper, and I want to see these little folds right here, this right here, and this right here. I have my paper like a square. And I want to kind of take it and I want to pinch that little fold right there. Okay. And I want to pinch the one right there. All right. Pinch, pinch. And I want to bring them together. Okay. Look. Pinch, pinch, bring together. When you hold them together like that, now, you should be able to just kind of flatten it into a triangle. Did I just blow your mind? <laughs> Watch again. Square. Pinch. Pinch. Bring together. Hold. <laughs> See how you can just kind of squish it? around this side like that. So that will give you a triangle that opens. Okay? Now this next part's much easier. Watch me. I'm going to take it. We're almost done. I'm gonna, now if you look, you've got this little flap here and you got one on the other side too. You it's almost like two little butterfly wings. See? I'm going to take this one and I want to fold it over so that it's sticking up the other end kind of like that. Okay, so watch, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fold it over. Kind of like 
this so that it's sticking over like that. I'll take my finger and fold it. Okay, now I got a little spike going that way. Whoop. Okay. Then I'm going to take this wing and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to copy that line and fold it like that. Okay, so all I did, fold, fold. Take your finger, run it to make those lines really good, and when you flip it over, look at your little fish you got. I could take one of my Sharpies, I'm going to borrow it from Godzilla, Gojira. What if I gave my little fish a sweet little eyeball? Whoop, whoop, whoop. And a little mouth. I could draw a little fin on him. And he's just about ready to go. All right. What do you think of your fish? So cute. <laughs> so that's a pretty simple origami fish. Ready to make another one? This one's a little harder. Ready for the fox? I went ahead and cut a piece of paper. I made this one orange, but whatever color you want is fine. And I want to fold it. We already have this one fold, but I'm going to make sure it's really good. So I'll take my finger and run it down. I'll unfold it. I will turn just like last time and I want to fold the bottom point to the top point. Line them up as perfectly as I can. Like so. I want to get my finger really run it. Okay, so now I have the X again. Okay. Now with it folded, I'm going to actually take this corner and I want this line to go to that line. So watch, I'm going to take this little point and I'm going to bring them up all the way to that top point and have those lines perfectly follow each other. Run your finger, get that fold really good. See, I went up like that. See what I mean? And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. This line goes to that line, this point goes to that point. So I'll take it. Fold it up so that they meet perfectly in the middle. And make sure that fold is perfect. Okay? Up, up. Simple. Now, I'm going to turn it this way so that the little opening is in the middle. And if I let go, it opens up that way. And I actually want to fold this in half so that. An easy way to do that is just turn your paper the other way and fold it up, okay, like that. Now, you should have a little diamond shapey thing like this, or a triangle like that, okay? Now, with the openings like this, so I'm going to hold my little finger there so that this side is the one that opens up. I'm going to take this whole side, this whole foldy side, and I want to slant it upward like that. That's a fat fold. You're folding through multiple layers of paper. It's kind of hard if you're using construction paper but you can do it. I just took that and folded it like that. Okay. All right. Now you've got these little flaps. You should have three of them. One, two, three. See what I mean? Three little points. One, two, three. You want to take the top one and fold it away. The bottom one's going to go like that. And you have this one little pointing up. Okay. So I went one, get the middle one, Flatten the bottom one, okay? So the little one's there, pointing up. You want to take your finger and kind of push this little tip downward. See how I did that? Take your finger, push the tip. Let me show you up close. Okay, I opened it, and I'm taking my finger and 
taking that little point and pushing it. And then I'm going to flatten it out like that. Okay, let me show you one more time. Push, flatten. Okay, see what I mean? And then once you have it flattened, really take your finger, get all those folds perfect. Okay. Can you see the little fox face coming out? Now for a tail, I'm going to take this little end and I'm just going to fold it over so that it lines up with the bottom. Let me take your finger and we'll flatten it. So I went right. Then I can stand up my little fox. If you don't see the fox yet, watch this. I'm going to get my marker. I'm going to color in his little nose. Give him some cute little eyes. You see him now? Oh, he's so cute, so cute. And look, he'll stand up on his own and you can decorate your little house. With a cute fox. <laughs> All right. I hope you had fun with our origami today. Um, if you did, make sure that you, like I said, try to find some more little designs and um, patterns you could make at home. There's fun origami everywhere. It's endless. There are billions and billions of different patterns and designs you can find and make. And you can even make little micro origami, which is really fun as well. I hope you guys had some fun doing this. We will travel to another ancient civilization tomorrow and see what we can make. But hope you had fun. Bye. Kit Sune. <laughs>